So I mentioned to you that arrays have a property called random access. And I wanna just take a couple of minutes to explain to you what that means and why it's so powerful. Here I've drawn an array that has six elements in it. The indexes go from zero to five. Notice that the index of the last element is always one less than the size of the array. Let's say that this array is called points. So that basically means there's a pointer in memory called points that points to some array address, the beginning of the array. And for our example, I want to assume, and this is just some assumption that I made up, that this points address points to location 1000 in memory. I'm just using this as an example. Because this array contains decimal numbers, each decimal number in Java is eight bytes long, eight bytes long. So that means that the next element is eight locations after the first element. So item zero occupies locations from 1000 to 1000 F, and then this one, sorry, 1000 to 1007, and then this next one would occupy locations 1008 through 1000 F. If you don't know hexadecimal, you don't need to know it for CSA. The only thing you need to understand in terms of random access is what I'm gonna tell you, describe to you next, which is that the amount of time it takes for the Java virtual machine to access this variable versus this variable versus this variable is exactly the same. And I want to explain to you why that is. If I ask the Java virtual machine to give me item two, which is the third item in the array, here's how it calculates where item two is stored. It takes the base address for the array, in this case happens to be a thousand, and keep in mind these are all hexadecimal numbers, it then says, oh, you want two over, so it's going to add two, and how long is each item? Well, these are decimal numbers, so they're eight bytes wide, so it's gonna multiply the two by eight, get 16, 16 in hexadecimal is just 10, and it's going to, it's gonna add 10 right here, 10. So this is gonna end up being hexadecimal 1010. That's where the third element is located. Now, if I wanted to do a similar calculation for item five, which is the sixth item in here, instead of doing this calculation, I would just do five times eight, right? Five times eight, and then I would add that to this number. Notice, and if I wanted to just find out the first location, I would do zero, times eight and add that to this location. Calculating these addresses takes exactly the same amount of time. It's not like this is any faster because I'm only having to multiply by zero. It takes the machine the exact same amount of time. So therefore, the conclusion from all this random access stuff is no matter which element I want, it takes the virtual machine the same amount of time to get it for me. And that's powerful because that amount of time is not only fixed, but it's short. And so I can access any element of the array as fast as I access any other element, and I can access it quickly.